Hello, I'm Ben with SCW. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own Ethernet connections. To make your own Ethernet cabling, you will need a sharp pair of scissors, an RJ45 crimping tool, a couple RJ45 ends, your Cat5 or 6 Ethernet cabling, and a weatherproof connector. Now, this connector is used on the camera side of the cable. That way, you have a weatherproof connection. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this outer sheath from the Ethernet cable. So I'm going to take my scissors and carefully remove the outer sheathing. We're just going to kind of put a little bit of pressure and run the scissors around the cable. We don't want to nick any of the cables inside. All right, I'm going to pull this apart like so. Next, you'll see your twisted pairs. I want to verify that I have not cut into the cables whatsoever. Um, if I did see any exposed copper, I would need to cut this off and start again. Next step, we're going to remove the nylon cord inside. So now that we removed the sheathing, we're going to separate our twisted pairs. And as I untwist each pair, I want to pull each wire to straighten it out. Okay, so now that we got each pair untwisted, I want to take the opportunity to go ahead and put on our weatherproof connector. We need to make sure we do this before crimping our RJ45 on there. So we're going to use these three pieces of the connector here, and they're going to go in this order. So this piece goes on first. Then I'm going to seat the rubber grommet inside the barrel connector. Like so. And then I'm just going to slightly tighten these two pieces together so it will stay in place. Next, we're going to put the wires in the correct order. We're going to use the 568B wiring order. This is required for data connections. If you get the wires crossed up or use a different type of wiring order, this will cause issues with your data connections. All right, so we're going to use orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. So now we're going to get the wires closer together while keeping them in order. That way they'll fit through the RJ45 connector. What I like to do is grab the base here and then slowly work together the wires, making sure they stay in proper order. Next, I'm going to grab this end of the cabling and slowly work back and forth while pulling to get these nice and tightly spaced together. Now that I've got them tightly run together, I've confirmed that the wiring order is still the 568B. I can now cut off the excess here. Now, to know how much to cut off, you're going to want to line up the connector with the cable here. So you want the sheathing here to fit in the clip of the RJ45 connector, but also have the wires long enough where they press right to the end of this connector for the best connection. So now I'm going to cut off the excess cabling. We want to make sure we cut very cleanly and that all the individual wires are the exact same length. Okay, so I've re-verified that the wires are still in the correct order. So now we're going to place the RJ45 connection on the cable. Now, you'll want to have the clip side down and the orange white and the orange is on the left. So remember, clip side down. And when you're inserting the wire into the connector, you're going to kind of want to wiggle it back gently. That way it can work its way in the individual grooves. Okay. And then we're going to verify that the sheathing has passed this little clip right here, which is going to hold this connection on nice and tight. Now that the connector is on, I want to verify that each individual strand is securely seated at the very end of this connector. 
This is very important to ensuring you have a great connection. Okay, the next step is going to be to crimp the RJ45 connector using the crimping tool. So on the crimping tool, you'll notice two ports. The smaller one is going to be for RJ11s, which are for phone lines. The larger is going to be the RJ45, which is for the ethernet cabling. So also on the crimping tool, you'll notice a little notch at the bottom. That is for the clip on the RJ45 connector to go into. So we're gonna keep this clip side down and insert it into the crimping tool. Now, when it's inserted into the crimping tool, we want to make sure that it's, the connector is firmly seated to the back of the tool. This will ensure the best connection. Now I'm going to press down on the RJ45 tool to crimp the connection. We can now remove the connector from the tool. I'm now going to verify that the connector is firmly seated on the Ethernet cabling. Okay, now that we have the RJ45 crimped, we can use this silicone grommet on the camera's Ethernet connector. We can now connect our cable. You want to hear a click to let you know that it's properly seated. Next, we're going to use our weatherproof barrel connector, which is a twist lock design to seal here. And then we will tighten the end of the barrel connector here. We now have a secure weatherproof connection. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit us at getscw.com or give us a call at 828-483-4237.